What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, standards are standards. If you break them, things tend to happen, okay? Bad things. So if you want to prevent all this from happening, I say in all my videos now, attraction is everything. Attraction is the facilitator. Attraction is what makes a man go from casual to committed. Come here. Even Paul tells you, check out my ebook below, okay? Check out my ebook below, 275 pages on maximizing attraction. If you want to maximize your chances with a guy and getting him to commit, you got to maximize attraction. Again, link is down below for the ebook. So, let me give you a philosophy, a mindset I have with making me do the right things in life, okay? With making me do what I think is the right thing to do, whether I like to do it or not. Because it's going to uh, apply to everything I'm t I, I teach you, everything you're probably going through right now because you like a guy, you know you should cut it off, you know you should say something, you know you should call it out, you know you should walk away, but you don't. And there's going to be consequences to it, okay? So, sorry, I keep on my hair's... Uh, anyway, the universe works in a very mathematical, mechanical way. Everything works a certain way with Mother Nature, with the laws of, you know, gravity and all those type of things. It all is very mechanical, okay? The, there's just a way the universe is supposed to work. When something is out of tune, when something isn't right, the universe tries to fix it, okay? So, for example, if I like you, but you don't like me, that's not supposed to work out. That's not supposed to work out. If I keep on trying to make it work, okay, even though you want nothing to do with me, there, like... I guess another way you could put it is life happens for you, not to you. The universe is going to try to fix it by giving you a life lesson, okay? And if you don't learn your lesson, it's going to get worse with time. And I have so many clients where they need to let go. You need to let go, but you don't. And it's like, okay, well, and this is everything. If you sit on the couch and eat Cheetos all day, you know, the universe is going to warn you first with high blood pressure, okay? You still don't want to change. Okay, you're going to gain some weight. You still, the universe is giving you opportunities to change. Okay, it's, it's going to keep getting worse and, it, and it's not going to change. Okay, the universe isn't going to change for you. You have to change for what is supposed to work. You're not supposed to sit around on the couch eating Cheetos all day. You do that long enough, the universe is going to give you enough chances. And if you don't take these chances, these opportunities for personal growth, you're going to pay the cost, okay, with your life. It is like that across the board with anything, okay? There's no different with relationships. If the guy's treating you like crap and you stick around, okay, he's going to continue to treat you like crap. If you're hoping it changes, it's not going to. If you think calling him out is going to change it, I mean, it could, but most of the times if he's already treating you like shit, that says a lot about his characters or his character, it's not going to change. Okay, stick around. It's going to get worse, and you're not going to learn your lesson. Then you're going to get a complex, okay, with just men in general. Then it's going to, he's going to treat you even shittier. And then you're going to be very hopeful and, and hope for all this change and stuff. You know, and that's just not how it works. The universe is going to keep smacking you in the face with reality and things you don't like because you're not willing to change. If you're talking to somebody, the universe is probably thinking this, if you're talking to somebody and they treat you like shit, you, you shouldn't stick around. I don't care how much you like the guy. You shouldn't stick around. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not saying you could just get over it overnight. But universally, 
again, it all it's all mechanical. It's not two people who like each other works. When one person likes you and the other person doesn't, that doesn't work. The universe looks at that and it's like, um, eh, yeah, that's not okay. You gotta cut your losses. If you don't, okay, the universe is gonna give you a lesson. You still don't learn it. Okay, the universe is gonna give you another lesson. You still don't learn it. It's going to give you another one. It's going to happen. And again, it's not going to change. Everyone thinks it's going to change. It's not going to change. It's going to happen so much where he's just dragging you through the mud and you're his little bitch and you don't have any self-respect. And women wonder why they, you know, like self-esteem is so low. I'm not saying it's your fault, but... At the same time, it kind of is. You got to know when is you know when enough is enough, and when to cut a guy off and say, "Hey, my value, my happiness isn't based on what you think of me anymore." And then cut or do that. But some women, again, I tell all my clients, "Okay, you don't want to, guys." I'll talk to clients all day, and they just back and forth. Back, you know, they go back and forth with me on this, and I end up saying, "Okay, that's fine." Here's the thing. You're going to learn the hard way and you're going to come back to me like every single one of my clients do and tell me I'm right or you're just going to get over it. Happens every single time, ladies. I am not wrong. It's not that I'm a genius. I just know how the universe works. It's very mechanical. Okay, so that be hey, hey, come on in. So that being said, ladies, I love you all. Take care. If you want to avoid this all together, all you have to do is get my... Uh, my uh, 275 page ebook down below helps you maximize your chances at least because I think that's very important. But just understand the universe works in a very mechanical way. And if something doesn't seem right, it's probably because it's not. So I love you all. Take care and peace.